Oh, it's a cold morning this morning. It's not even five o'clock in the morning. I don't get up this early to get to work by nine o'clock. Anyway, we're going fishing, so I'm up early and I'm excited because I love going fishing early in the morning. I just hate going to work early. Anyway, I'm gonna go meet Chris down the shop. So, but get me butt down there because I don't want to be late. What time of the morning do you I, call this, I, mate? I, I tell you what, the only time we get up this early is when we go fishing with Charlie Mikulu. Yes, well, coffee's the same, and um, actually it's not that cold this morning, is it? Yeah, it's not too bad. We're, we're just pushing on the end of winter right now. So where are we, early August? Um, so we're heading down very, to Blue Rock. Very early. Yeah, August. early <laughs> and still dark, and the chill's just left the air. So we're heading down to Blue Rock. We've heard they're getting a few uh, few different species down there. So we've got the young fella, young Lockie. He's come out for a bit of a fish. He looks just as tight as I do. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> silly o'clock well, in the morning. I'll tell you what. I love the smell of worms in the morning, mate. Mm, thank you. <laughs> We're going to be throwing around a few lures and put a couple of worms out too and see what's around. Well, here we are. Nice little journey down here, mate. Yeah, a couple of hours. I mean, uh, a couple of hours for you from Mornington. Exactly right. If um, Brom and Bishop didn't have the uh, helicopter this weekend, <laughs> I definitely would have grabbed it. <laughs> you, had to, you had to throw that one here. <laughs> it's uh, yeah, Chopper Gate or whatever they call it. Anyway, so we've made the journey and we're here. I've never been here before. It. It's a big lake. Pretty big. Yeah. It's huge. Um, hopefully there's some fish in it. <laughs> I think we're about to find out, mate. Let's do it. So Chris was just saying, oh, what, what should we throw on? And I said, well, I'm going to throw on a plastic. So he's going to try a spinner. Best if you've got a couple of people throwing a lure out, always best to try and hedge your bets and have a couple of different sorts in the water and see what's more effective for the fish. Just got a little little spinner. Yeah, and I got myself a little plastic. So, mate, I'm going to flick this over here. See what love we get. Yeah, if, if I start getting hits, then he'll swap over to a plastic. And vice versa. Plus, we've got the bait rods out too. I mean, I'm running a double pattern oster. I'm actually trying a uh, whiting snatcher, mate. Black magic yeah. whiting snatcher. They do work in fresh water. One of mm. the issues they have is because they're called a whiting snatcher, a lot Everyone of people go, it's salt water. only salt water. <laughs> We've used them. We've had success in both fresh and That's salt right. water. So we're going to run a running sinker rig as well. We've got two rods each in the bait and just a little rod flicking yep. around while we're waiting for our baits to get in. And Lockie uh, over there losing all their rigs for us. <laughs> Keeping me busy, de-rigging or re-rigging. That's right, you might have to give him the lure soon. Yeah, mate. I know. <laughs> He's already lost the plastic, but we'll see how we go. <laughs> big it's probably a little red fin it's actually very little what do we got here it's a tiny little red fin <laughs> he's only a little guy little red fin I think <laughs> well there we go little guy there it's a little ready hit the plastic pretty hard they usually do red red fin love little plastics so that's, that's pretty much why I put a plastic on, because I know there's a lot of red fin in the water. Want to look, look? Come over here, mate. Ooh. So we'll, um, you want to throw him back in the water for me? Okay. Hold it, both hands out flat, mate. That's it, he might kick a bit. All right, now give him a quick flick out in the water there, buddy. That's the way, and off he shoots like a rocket. Yep. All right, that's the first one. Work, I'll get All right. Little sea tail plastics. They work an absolute treat for redfin.
Keep it bent, keep it bent, keep it bent. Keep it bent. Trout. Oh, trout. Up. Trout. Up. Little trout. Hey, it's a rainbow. Yep. <laughs> it's cute. It's a little uh, little rainbow's cute. taking the worm. Hey, buddy. Have they got any spikes on them? No, mate. Here, I'll unhook him. And you can hold him. Oh, don't lock. Thanks. Here's a look. Just gotta get this hook out. What about in both hands, bud? Pretty cool, isn't he? Well, he's got a bit of blood from his lip, mate, so let's get him back in the water. Get him back in the okay? water, he'll heal up, he'll be fine. So Chuck him in lock stock. Nice and easy. Oh. Let's see if we can get him back to life, eh? Hey? There we go. There See that? Yeah. Shut off like a rocket. Nick did that. He put some water through his gills. Oh. I'll just... He's just shocked. Look at him go. Yeah, he'll be fine. He swam off no problem. <laughs> you release a trout, he'll uh, he'll get a bit stunned and he'll just he'll fly it straight to the top. So you just want to grab him, run the your hands under his belly, rub his belly, get the cold water going through his gills, and he'll swim off like he did. So that was good. There you go, Lockie. Go catch us another one, matey. Okay. There you go, bud. You still got your worm? 